A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Tiny Die Cast Fury, and more importantly, we're going to get into some more animal-related models. Road Cannibal is the pick for today. That's pretty much nothing more than what appears to be a feline-esque creature, a panther, or probably something like a cougar. Not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but... It's basically just an animal that's sitting on top of a chassis with a motor stuck in the mouth and its back apparently has a hole in it so the driver can climb inside and take the wheel pretty much. There's also an array of exhaust pipes that you can see especially from the bottom in a nice clear picture. Eight of them are in total, four of which each extend out the sides. And I feel like that for a model like this, it was first introduced in 1985 as a 1986 model, and then 2012, it entered a reproduction phase. And so, that's quite a long period of time between the first generation and this generation version, which came out in 2013. Nearly 10 years ago, I mean, that much time has passed already. At least for a model like this, I really do like it for what it is. And even better, the fact that it actually performs astoundingly well in contrast to a good majority of other such animal-related models that we've seen so far. And that's really saying a lot, considering how I've talked about models of all sorts, like T-Rex Destroyer, Vampira, Turbo Rooster, and some others. So I feel like that every now and then when I get to models like this, I'm always going to have this sort of thing brought up just in case something might turn up. There could be distant memory that I might end up recovering and wanting to talk about at a certain point in time, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way though, I'm still pretty excited about what there could possibly be in the future. So if you want to see more, go down on my channel to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 